Generic greetings and welcome back to the Isle of Arrows. Today's beverage is a very nice green tea. So welcome back to the Isle of Arrows. We've previously done a preview video of this and if you've not seen that essentially this is a minimalist tower defense game where you are atop a island above the clouds or are those weird waves who knows and either way we have to build our maze and our defensive structures in order to survive till whatever the campaign tells us we don't need to do anymore and uh, yeah I've been playing this I wouldn't say a lot but I've been playing it very regularly one of the strengths of the game is you can pick it up and put it down. It doesn't tend to last overly long. So, yeah, I've been playing it and enjoying it, and I wanted to play some more and show some more. So we're going to go for the campaign here. I've done the Training Grounds and the Archer's Oath campaign. That's uh, completed 40 out of 40 waves on that one. In fact, I don't think the Training Grounds was in the game when I originally played it, but there you are. I've done that just for completeness. And we now have the Arboretum. So it says for the Arboretum here, studying the vast castle gardens, bone weary Botanists keep the secrets to an impenetrable island defense. Let's go to start here and we need to select our guild. We only have at the moment two guilds available. We've got the founders and the architects. The founders gain health every 10 waves so it's just a passive heal and the architects don't have access to flags but do gain bridges every turn. So you need bridges in order to build on the edge of the map but flags will expand it. So yeah I actually thought I'm thinking originally, oh yeah, I don't really use the flags, but I think it's one of those things that you probably forget about, that you've been placing them, and <laughs> yeah, I think we'll probably lean towards the founders just to be safe. After that, you've got cannoneers and merchants. Cannoneers reach 30 with architect guild to unlock. Oh, hang on, right. Oh, so I need to, I do actually need to play one of these in order to get the other one. All right, okay, so I do need to reach 30 with the architects to unlock uh, this guild. So we're going to have to play the architects. Okay, fair enough. That's not a problem at all. So we have started off. We have 10 health. The way we lose it is, well, stuff spawns from here, comes along, and then hits into our main crystal. If we, well, lose all health, then it's game over. We have two gold, getting one a turn, three bridges, and no demolition equipment. And that's used for, well, as you might imagine, destroying things. So we're going to place in a tower, and I'm going to place it there. That will use a bridge, but we're going to get a bridge anyway, so that's not too much of a problem. Start the wave, and, well, that was the quickest wave, wasn't it? So, yeah, that was very quick indeed. What I'm going to do is I could place this like so, but that would require bridges. Instead, I'm going to try and curve it round and around here. So let's place that there. Um, you can spend money to skip to the next thing, but the next thing is a garden, which just gives us money when placed. So there's no point in really doing that. Um, and oh, we have now bonus cards. So restore health, or maximum health, uh, lose gold and gain health. No, we're going to go with peak. So we can get rid of a couple of cards. I'm going to get rid of both path and garden. Ice is probably quite useful, so we'll keep hold of that for now. And, well, there's the garden. We can place it anywhere we like, and when we place it, we just gain straight up... Uh, we just gain straight up money. I'm going to place it there. It's sort of out of the way. I don't want to block this area. So let's go to start then. So one, two, and then three. That wasn't a big problem. You can um, you can see your timeline. So you've got waves, waves, and then events and such. And you can click on that to indicate what's going to come towards us. So scouts, which is very low health, but we also have the, uh, the henchmen as well, which have a club on them. So that could be a bit of an issue. So this is our... This is our um, freeze trap. I guess there would be the place it can go realistically. And it'll freeze people in place. We have an arrow tower as well, which I I am going to buy out. And that's... I think I've just got a bit that I wanted. Let's place this in here because it's going to get those two and hopefully the one that comes down this way. Can I get the path. I can get the path. So I'm going to place the path in there. Again, that's going to require a bit a bridge, but it's going to start back here now because it's also connected. Brilliant. And well, I'm going to skip again and put this one in here and place that there. But I'm out of cash. So start wave and yes, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too bothered about what we're going to see there. That wasn't a big drama at all. So we've got a path that's going to go straight to and a curve piece. I want to place this curve piece here. Although I can't because it has to be placed adjacent. So it's going to go straight along here and then curve round. That is my original intention. And well, let's start this wave. 
I haven't really checked on what it's going to be because, well, it's, it's early days and we're fairly good here. Um, so, you discover a cursed relic. Take the relic, lose two health. Or sell the relic, gain two gold. I'm going to take the relic. And it is... Oh, accumulation, grow the entire island. Oh, that's that's good. That's really good, in fact. Especially consider we... Um, we can only grow up by using bridges. So we'll place that in there, and as you can see, it curves all the way around the outside now. And we've also got a cannon tower, which I will, again, skip this bit, and then place the cannon in there. Oh, right, we are in a brilliant, brilliant situation. Now, this is a, this is a, <laughs> an amazing setup for early on. There is another um, garden, so I'll just place that over there. We've got an ice trap, which... Ooh, yeah, let's skip that, and we're going to place an ice trap in there. Brilliant. And I'm going to skip it again to place this in here. Yes. But I shouldn't really skip too many, though, because we can eventually get other buildings to do defend against. Um, so, yes, yeah, sir, yeah, we'll, we'll spawn another, like, um, another thing we have to defend against. Anyway, we're on wave eight. Coming up with, well, the next one is an event, I think, or an extra card. So you either get a path money or restore health we have ah we're gonna get earnings there's another path which can go in there i need one that goes there though but i don't know well it's, it's all it is random it, it is um you can sometimes be really hit hard by the rng but it is what it is there's another cannon the cannon can go in there and that's actually decent because we've now got water there and water there with a gap there that means if we get one of the buildings is like a fishing hut and you gain gold based on how many water tiles are adjacent so yeah that should that should help us out but yeah we are in a, a sterling a sterling situation here this is this is good although as you can see one of them did get very close to the front there so we have a black market that's now opened up. We can get a bundle for five, which is going to give us one of everything. That might be useful. We've got uh, bridges, which we don't need. We've got nine. We've got pathings, which go around the corner. We don't need that. And a reinforced path, which we don't need because we can be placed without bridges. But I do want a straight piece. So I'm going to buy that and then place it there. And then you can see the spawn is all the way back there. And I'm going to buy the bundle. And uh, there is another... Yeah, there's another garden so i'll place that there and uh, the path that we might have used here has just appeared brilliant anyway start the next wave and you can see that they are slowed down at the back there because of that ice trap the whole idea of curling around and going past all of these has worked out brilliantly but we probably do want another tower of some kind there is a mm, there's a path there and i can do that that will require a bridge but that will require two bridges i think I am going to spend two bridges because having something here, like that arrow tower, will be will be pretty good. So let's just see what happens here. Oh, we got like a berserker thing coming along. They are they are running really fast, but uh, luckily they don't have a huge amount of health, and they are now gone. So there we go. There's that defeated. We can enter the black market, spawn two high grounds, or look at the next three tiles. I'm going to say spawn two high grounds. Essentially, if you place things on top of that, you gain increased power. Again, there's so many good things about this game, but you can click on almost anything. It'll tell you what you need to know. So I can see we've got two protectors and one assassins. Runs faster than most, requires a long enough path to be uh, stopped. It and a half health but yeah you can just click on them and it just tells you what it is so high ground there so the archery tower then i will place oh you can see the bonus we have to the archery tower if we place it there i will place it in i will place it in there yep that's fine that's also a zigzag that's uh, coming up here we have nine bridges so that should be perfectly acceptable and we've got another thing we can place on this high ground as well at some point Ah, uh, yeah, not worried about any of this. Job done. So the pathing then will go there. And, oh, something needs to go there. Is there like a Tesla coil? <laughs> that would be really... Something like that would be uh, brilliant just to do damage all the way around. There's that assassin running in. It's going to get stopped by... I was going to say the ice trap, but it actually got stopped by a cannon. So <laughs> that's uh, that pretty much dealt with. Another garden has come into play. I'm going to put that uh, out the way there, out the back. Um, that's an interesting path that's uh, upcoming. Still on 9 health. Uh, obviously, we don't regenerate health like the previous guild. We're on wave 15, and we've got something new coming up. And we also have, we see a lot of enemies uh, 
getting closer to the middle there, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ooh. Okay, Genie grants you a wish. Gain gold, gain two health, or gain a path tile of your choice. I'm going to gain the gold. So there's a path tile. That'll require, wow, three bridges there as it's building off to the left-hand side. Mm, okay, we also have an ice trap. Huh. See, an ice trap there might sound good, but not really because nothing's getting shot around here. It might be slowed down, but nothing's getting shot. Whereas here, might be better. If it was there, it would slow them down there near the cannon. I mean, there does sound good, but no, we'd have to destroy... Oh, we can't even place it there because it would destroy something. Um, here's possible. But I do think there, because we'll have something at this location as well. So we'll place that. The next thing is a well. Gain... Uh, oh, gain gold for each water tile in the same row or column. Ah, Okay. Well, anyway, we'll spawn them, and as you can see, it's, <laughs> they're all spawning from the left there, and it's going to take quite a while for them to get to us. You can speed the game up with the button at the top there. It's act in fact, it's actually been on max speed since we started. I don't see a reason not to run it on max speed because, well, there's nothing you can do. Like, I can't micromanage this. Once it's started, it's started. You just have to sort of sit there and go, yep, yeah, that's, that's a thing. So, we would gain... Let's just double check this. It says... No, that's resources. Claws. Um, drop that. Gain one for each water tile in the same row or column. So, like, along there and along there. I guess there is the best place for it. Yeah, so those two and those two. There's an arrow tower, and I will skip to that because I want to place an arrow tower there and rotate it because that should give us an extra gold. Yes, it did, because of this row here. We have now... Yeah, good shots there. This one I want to curve round and back. Let's just start the next wave anyway. So we've got a new type of enemy. This big, burly, bearded fellow. And, well, see what uh, has to be done there. I don't know if there's any particular meta or tactic or anything else, but that guy's going to get to the centre. Lost a health. Hmm. That's not ideal, is it? So, assuming this is going to curve round to there, and then we'll do there. Um, I will actually buy this out then. We'll go that way. Place using two. Uh, we will skip to the next one. And put it there. I don't want to place it there. Because something in the middle might be better. Yes. And then we have an arrow tower. Mm, I'm going to skip that as well. I'm going to place it... That would be good. There. And I can build over the water anyway, I believe. Can I build over water? Ooh, have I just made that up? Possible. Let's play it safe. And start. But that's cost us a lot of bridges. Luckily, we do gain bridges every turn, but we're only on two. So I'm guessing there might be a point where you just can't place anything and you have to skip. That is possible. Looks like that guy's coming in. He's on half health. There's a lot of arrows going here. We're going to get them. Yes. Only just and... Ah, ah, ah. So, <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. We now have another spawn. We're on wave 19 of 40. And they've come over here now. So, we have to deal with it. I guess I could... Potentially bring them this way. We'll start using our other towers. Do we want to do that? Uh, yes, yes we do. We've also got a fishing hut here, which is gain two for each adjacent water tile. Right. We can, yeah, we can, we can place one of those, I'm guessing. There would be nice, but I'd have to demolish a garden. I'm not going to skip the wave, though. So, the top one was only one spawn. I wasn't worried about it. But now we have two things to fight, but obviously we only have one set of we only have one set of picks, so that's a bit of a problem potentially. There's a fishing hut followed by a straight piece. The fishing hut will go. I guess I could demolish that garden. 
we have got one option to demolish, but I really, really would not... No, I, I don't think demolishing would be good. Whereas there... Yeah, that's pretty good. We are going to skip to the next one. And I'm going to put that in there. An ice trap is next. I... We'll get that. For there. The next thing is a monument. Gain three bridges when fully surrounded, including diagonal. Ah, we will most likely... Most likely... Use one of our... Ones of these. Although, no, we can place it there, and then it's almost fully completed. Good grief, there's a unit that is really, really fast. I think we'll be okay. It doesn't feel like there's going to be no, a problem here. No issues there. So, border stone. Gain one whenever you place a tile on the edge of the aisle. And reservoir. Cards containing water tiles can be skipped for free. I'm going to go with... Hmm. Border. So what have we got? Four henchmen, six scouts... An assassin, a protector, and an executioner. Starts off slowly but gains speed over time. Okay. Fair enough. So the monument, it needs to be surrounded. We could place it there. It would almost be surrounded. We could place it down here. Almost surrounded again. I mean, technically there. But do I really want to do that? Uh, gain three bridges. I'm going to skip it. Honestly, I'm skipping the thing. I don't need it. Place an arrow tower over here, though. And we are going to buy this path out. Perfect. So that's going to start there. I'm going to get the next path and put it there. Fairly happy with that because these are now going to get shot from, from this one. You see the range on that. So we've already taken out a number of enemies. There's that executioner that's getting faster and faster. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that almost got there. Right. We've now got a path, which... What are we going to hit spawn here? Henchman and a scout. Not too bothered about that. Yeah, that's all fine as well. What's that guy called? A brute. He's a brute. Can we use this? Ah. We won't. We don't have the... We don't have the ability to use that because we're out bridges. So we're going to have to go to next. Yeah. Mm, next. And an arrow tower. Finally. And I'm going to place an arrow tower in there. That's, I think, good use of our resources. Let's go to the next one. So I'm just keeping an eye on the top there. They were defeated before... Well, just getting past this. So I think the one at the top will require another tower of some kind. But we'll see when we need that. Looks like the Brute has taken very little damage, but now all the towers are focused on them, and they're gone. Okay. We have Pavement. The next two tiles will be corner paths. Exchange. Lose two monies, gain two health. Or a path. We're going to do an exchange. We have a straight path, which we can place, and I will, because I want to bring it along here. And a workshop is next. When adjacent to two water tiles gains a path of your choice, adjacent to two water tiles, I'm going to get that. I'm going to place it there. And the path is, hmm, straight. Oh, darn it. Have I messed... Oh, I've totally messed this up. Actually, not totally, but <laughs> somewhat. Um, we don't have any bridges, so I'm going to have to skip it. That's a shame. All right. And also, I've just seen the next the next tile it requires two. So we don't have the resources for that. I thought we had more bridges than we did. Oh, well. I'm not going to lose too much sleep for it. I might get to level 3 a.m. Okay, we are... Oh, yeah. Easily defeating these. There's not much damage on this brute, though. And that, that does concern me. But they're gone now. So there's that big path. Would love to place that path in. But, well, we can't. Could skip it for gold. We've got enough gold to skip it. But then the ice trap, we couldn't place that... 
anywhere in particular. I'm still going to skip it because I do want to put one somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to place it there. And we gained money because of the adjacency for the well. That wasn't skill, by the way. That was all luck. <laughs> I just didn't want to use a bridge by placing it up there. So we're slowing them down up the top here, which is good because I think they would have got in if it wasn't for that other slowdown. Execution is coming in. They are taking considerable damage. I don't think they're going to get in. No, they're not. But, oh yeah, that's actually a fairly easy way. Job done. <laughs> they're all gone. All right. Income added. We have this path now, but we need two bridges. And, well, it's not. there's nothing we really need. Another arrow tower. The arrow tower will be placed in here. That'll shore up that one. This path is pretty good, the one that's next, but where would we place it? Is it going to come down this way? Yes, it would come, it would come along here, but that will require... Ah, two demolitions, which we don't have. So I don't think we'll be able to use that path. So yeah, this... I think one of the... One of the strengths of any game is that... The mechanics are simple, but one change can dramatically alter the way you play it. And it is, this is, this architect one. You don't get flags, but you do get bridges every turn. It massively changes the way you play the game. Amazing. I'm going to buy out a bundle and a bridge and a reinforced path. And continue. So this path here, I could place, it would go there. No, it wouldn't go there. Placement not allowed. I'd have to place it... Why, why could we not place it there? Oh, because it would end in water? No, surely not. Okay. The only other option is sort of that. It wouldn't go in here, and it, and it would... Yeah, no. no. Um, I guess we could sort of place it there, and as if we're going to curve it round. Curve it round, but no, that's... Realistically, that's not going to happen. I guess that one. Just <laughs> uh, statue gain two when fully surrounded, including diagonals. Oh, okay. Um, having two of those would be uh, would work out. Oh, we now got these. Um, I'm going to call them priests, but I think they might be just like diviners or. Either way, they've got a shield around them. They've also got a pocket in the middle. It's either a pocket or it's like the Teletubby screen. But you can see the the shield themselves. They're not overly difficult to deal with, but well. It must be good, because one of them's got in. Let's have a quick look at that. Let's see if uh, we're going to get some small spawns of those. Protectors. No, wardens. Yeah. So the statue. Where can we place the statue? It would go there. And... Perfect. We gain that bonus. We've got another archer tower. Or arrow tower. And... It's probably worth... Probably worth skipping to place it. We've got more than enough bridges. I guess there is the obvious choice. Requires two, but then I can destroy that one. There's a corner path. Don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spend money to skip it. The next one's a storehouse. When adjacent to two towers, draw bonus cards. Don't really want the corners, so I'm going to skip again. We've got enough money, so I should probably do that. When adjacent to two towers... No. Skip that as well. There's a nice path. Which would have to go there. But we just don't have the bridges for it. Right. Skip again. Ice trap. Mm. Actually, an ice trap would be, would be nice. And there is a good place for it. And we'll go to next wave because we don't have anything to place the fishing hut. So up the top here, we're going to lose. Oh yeah, we lost health up there. So the next thing we place is going to have to be an arrow tower up the top. But a lot of our towers that we've seen, their there arrow towers are... Um, they've got water attached to them, so we're out of bridges. So we may have to demolish something. But we survived easily down the bottom there. There's our fishing hut, which will give us money when adjacent to, to water. Don't want to use the last bridge. I don't really want to place it there either. 
It's going to have to go... Where does it go? Oh, I can place it there. Let's double check. Gain two for each adjacent water tile. We would actually lose one, but gain two. No, we gain four, so net profit of three. There's another arrow tower. But I can't place it. I wouldn't be able to place it unless I use Demolish. I don't really have much choice. So, that should help us out. And indeed it goes on this... Uh, is that row there? No, I don't know why we got that one then. There's a corner path there, but it's a hedge path. Gain two if placed without connecting to any other path tile. Mm. No. Wave 28... It's the one at the north that I'm worried about. I'm worried about all of them, but then, you know, I'm worried about everything. Yep, that's uh, that's not good. So we need more defences at the top. But so far, we've only got two cannon towers, which is disgusting. We've got something to pop up here, though. And then hopefully we'll have a black market at some point to purchase from. Oh, right. Yeah, that's that, that's brilliant, yeah. Um, hedge path gain two, <laughs> if placed... Without connecting to any other path tile. So. Connecting to any other path tile. Is it possible for me to even place this? Yeah. I'm not going to get the gold. But I don't care. I'm going to skip the next one. I'm going to skip the. No I'm not. I'm going to place that in here. And I'm going to get that path. And then that path. Oh. No. Or oh, maybe. Maybe. If I use that path here, that would use a bridge. We have a bridge left. But then the arrow tower, which is up next, just requires one bridge. So I'm going to place it in here. The next is a garden, so there's no point in skipping. Up to 29, though. I'm just concerned about the, again, the thing at the north there. I don't think we're going to defeat them all. No, they're, they're constantly getting in, and we're on six health. So I really need to focus on that top one, but now we have this other one to deal with. Good cash though. And I'm not too concerned. Oh no, I think that guy might get in. Yeah, that's two health gone. Right, there's a garden. That just gains money when we place it. There's an ice trap in next. Which I don't think we can fit in anywhere. Quite honestly, I'm going to skip it. I guess we could place it there and actually give us more money. Yes. There's another path. I'm going to keep skipping. There's another arrow tower. That's what we want. And well, that can go in there or there. It's got to go there. We have 30. Right, the one at the north is secure. That's fine. I'm happy about that one. This one, though. Is it possible we're going to defeat all these? Because there's two bruisers and a protector guy with the, with the shield. I think that one, only one of the bruisers is seriously damaged. Are we just going to take him out? Yes, just. That was tough. Okay, Genie gives you a wish. Uh, four monies, two health, get a path. Two health. I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no other choice. Uh, workshop. When adjacent to two water tiles, gain a path of our choice. I'm just gonna place it there. It's like a non-placement. It's like <laughs> we're not using it for anything. It's just gonna go out the way. There's a zigzag path, which I don't really... We can't even place it. We don't even have the thing for it. I'll skip to the next one. Oh, cannon tower's up next. Interesting. Okay. We'll see what that's like. I have been keeping an eye on the one down the south here, by the way. Um, it's just because it was, goes all the way around and there's a slow bit there. I'm not too worried about it. There's a big blitz attempt in the center there, which may be successful. It is successful. They've got two in. But there's the cannon tower. 
the cannon tower can go somewhere. We have two bridges. I'm thinking the cannon tower needs to go in. Realistically, is this the area we've had most bother with, or is it, or is it this one? It is potentially this. If I was to place that there, it would use no bridges. It would use the last remaining bombs, but we've got both sides, and because of the when the fire that that's going to shoot at these ones first on the spawn, and then whatever's left hit there. It's what we've gone with. Don't really have much choice. I'm gonna skip that and go for with 32. In fact, that cannon tower has been of great benefit. Yeah, it did take out a couple of those. Excellent. We have 32 of 40. I didn't think we'd get this far. The last time I played this, I didn't get nowhere near to this wave on the first instance. I don't know what this new person is, but they've got a big sword and uh, even bigger amount of health. And they're going to get in. Okay, carte blanche. Immediately draw bonus cards twice. Reservoir. Cards containing war tiles can be skipped for free. Carte blanche. Uh, let's go for that. Lose two, gain two. And... Enter the black market. Yeah. So... By the bundle, by bridges, by a reinforced path that will go there and continue. So we have a garden that we can place, a lovely garden. It's going to go um, over there. A corner path, which I will place in there. An ice trap, which do we need? Yeah, let's get an ice an ice trap in, just to slow that down. And a fountain gives two when fully surrounded by other tiles. Ooh, we're gonna skip that, and that's gonna be placed. there. I think we'll lose one by doing that. Don't want to place it there though because that's potentially a better thing for us. No, it's fine. So there's two health. There's a cannon tower. That's getting placed. Placed in there. That should secure the north bit. Next waves. Double cannon tower up the top there. Oh, that is well and truly secure. <laughs> right, that's what we want. And then these waves down here, we've got the guys with the shields. We've got the executioners that are doing this blitz run. They take considerable damage. Are they going to get in? I think one of them is. Definitely one of them is. And there's them. Okay. Problem I'm having is that... I need to... I need to slow their pace. Doing that, I mean, it's it's not affording us anything, because they're not getting shot. Um, I think we can't afford the arrow tower. We're at wave 34. We get new card picks next turn. North is protected. South is not. They got in as well. We're on seven health. It's a teeth dryer. I think he's going to run in the middle as well. I think they are going to make it. We just don't have the firepower in the middle. There's two health down. We're on five health. Depends what the next cards are going to be. Restore. Look at the next three cards. Wait, I'm just going to have to go with straight health. There's the arrow tower. I want to place it there. I really do. But obviously we don't have the bridges. That's it's going to have to be there. There's another one in at the top. No, they're not. Oh, well, there might, there might be. There's one at the bottom. That's five health. That's four health. How's it going to work out in the middle? I don't know. It feels okay at this stage. 
but it depends on whether that one person can get in at the back. Oh, no, they're facing off against the entirety of the island. Yeah. They're gone. Right. Skipping the path. Skipping the garden. Skipping the path. Freeze trap. Skipping. Market square. Enter the black market. As soon as it's fully surrounded. I mean, we won't even. We can't even place it, can we? We need bridges. The next one's an arrow tower. Which we can't even use because it's. We don't have the bridges. If we start the wave there, then. Oh, wow, look at that wave. Yeah, our downfall is going to be the, the southern, southern one. But I don't know what else I can do about it because I don't have the things to place. I'm sure there's many things we can do if we stopped and spent 20 minutes on every wave, but we don't have time for that. We're still on 36. Like you say, I didn't anticipate getting this far. It is a... It, it does have roguelike elements, which means fail and try again, mate, is <laughs> the general rule. And uh, Croupier offers you to play a game of spin and win. I'm going to play. This is the first time we've done this. Bit of gambling. Cheeky bit of gambling. Please don't lose health. Please don't lose health. Please don't lose health. Extra bridges. That'll do me. Yeah. Oh, a couple of bridges. So, Arrow Tower. Um, Arrow Tower will go in there. The next is a path. Which I'll place there. Followed by... Not another path. So I'm hoping that that arrow tower, I was going to say, is that helped out? It, it may have done. We're on one health. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. And the next thing is... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Ooh! <laughs> so close. Yeah. The next thing is... Death. I was going to say the next draw would have just been another tile anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. However, 28 new elements unlocked. Let's continue. We've got Beggar, Give to the Poor, Encounter, a Double Garden Tile, Charity, at the start of each wave if you have zero, gain two, uh, Band of Control, gain one for every, uh, gain one health whenever you skip bonus cards or relics, a Ring Tower, I don't know what that is, Restock, a plaza, drift nets, fishing huts generate additional one, noxious treasure, gain 10, lose 2 health, that's a poison trap, overflow, gain 1 now whenever, I'll give 1, bulldoze, destruction bomb thing, and whenever water tile is destroyed, whenever water tile is destroyed, okay, move all water tiles on the edge, horticulturalist, ornate towers also gain power from diagonal adjacent ones, Oh. Genesis Stone, extend the island around any tower you build, used goods, purchase tiles and bonus cards, Fate Essence gain one additional tile, preview, seer, predict the future, bonus card of rotten shells, ornate tower, a golden flag, which we won't use because we're playing the architect, toxic leaf, first five enemies, wave take 20% damage when spawning, first five enemies, oh right, I read that as first five waves until I reread it. That's actually really good. The colour indicates, I think, how powerful it is. Um, Grey being sort of common, whatever. And then you've got, like, orange. Well, I think it's... Is there a green? There's definitely blue and purple and orange. Again, one money each time you don't lose any health. Poison darts, ring towers by poison. There's a poison trap. I did say about a Tesla trap, but we got poison. There's a, a petal tower, which could damage around. There's a more tower. Good grief. Petal towers still open forever. Spawn a dig site. Wow. I mean, that's pretty good, right? You'd have to think. Um. So let's have a quick look. Arches off. I don't want one of those. Place poison patches and all adjacent path tiles. Only one trap can be active. So yeah, we got poison. Mort Tower. Increase damage with each connected water tile. Okay. Petal Tower. Shoots its roof. Closes its roof when not shooting. Becomes inactive for the rest of the wave once the roof is closed. 
Huh. So, lots of options. Lots of options. And, well, we managed to get, in one run... <laughs> we went from 12% to 20% of the campaign. We got to wave 36. It is technically, technically a failure, but we lost the battle, but we won't lose the war. And I would argue that getting to progress 36 out of 40 on the first time, first ever attempt, is actually pretty good. Either way, I'm going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Isle of Arrows. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If nothing else, it should be a chill one for you. If you want to see more, then by all means let me know. Have any tips, suggestions, I'd also love to hear them as well. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.